All right, so the uh, next thing we're going to talk about is a couple of different reactions between um, lipids. First one is called a hydro uh, hydrogenation reaction. So essentially what we take is unsaturated fatty acids, molecules with double bonds, and they can be of any length and they can be on different types of lip lipids, and actually add hydrogen to them to saturate those double bonds. You usually need a, a catalyst to speed up these reactions, and nickel's a very common one. And so what happens is these two hydrogen atoms are added to those carbons where that double bond exists. And so now we have a saturated hydrocarbon with the two new hydrogens being added. This of course is used for a variety of reasons. Previously we mentioned that unsaturated fatty acids are often liquids at room temperatures or oils. And saturated fatty acids or often solids at room temperature or fats. And so this is one way to convert uh, liquid oils from plants to solid fats like margarine uh, or shortening um, to be used for food. And of course, that has the convenience of being, you know, margarine or, uh, you know, being a solid at room temperature. But it also, since it comes from a plant, we're making a uh, solid fatty acid uh, or a fat without all the cholesterol that might come with a, um, making the fat from um, animal fatty acids. So the next uh, reaction we're going to talk about is hydrolysis, and this is basically the reverse uh, reaction to what we were talking about in um, the production of a triacylglycerol, where we added a fatty acid to glycerol molecule by through the condensation reaction through the removal of water. Now we're actually going to add the water back in to break it down from the uh, glycerol molecule, break it down into the glycerol molecule and the individual fatty acids. Now this can be done with either an acid or acid plus heat, or um, our enzymes in our body often do this um, hydrolysis reaction. So we're taking water, adding it to each of the uh, ester bonds of the triacylglyceride, triacylglycerol, excuse me, to produce the glycerol and the fatty acid. Another reaction we could talk about uh, involving fatty acid would be the production of soap through what's known as a saponification reaction. And so what we're going to do is we're going to treat a fatty acid with a base to produce uh, glycerol. and then a salt or a ionic compound of the fatty acid. And that salt of the fatty acid is actually what we can refer to as soap. So here's uh, one example uh, where we have a triacylglycerol. We'll treat it with a base. And again, uh, we're basically going to break that ester bond, but instead of complete hydrolysis, we're actually going to deprotonate that um, carboxylic acid on the uh, fatty acid and to make the salt. So this would be if this was potassium hydroxide, now we have the potassium carboxylate uh, salt of each fatty acid. Now uh, that the fact that this is soap or these fatty acid molecules are a um, in their ionized form, essentially what they have, and I'll draw just another fatty acid that is deprotonated uh, this is a very polar region that can also undergo, um, or that can also has ion dipole forces. Okay, so this would be the polar region of the fatty acid, and of course we've got this hydrocarbon chain down here, which is also very nonpolar. 
Okay? And so when we use soap to wash our hands, uh, what we're doing is we're trying to get rid of basically nonpolar uh, molecules like fats and oils and grease. Uh, the polar end of the soap is attracted to water, of course, we're, which we're um, trying to wash our hands with. And the nonpolar fatty or nonpolar hydrocarbon is attracted to the fat or oil or grease that we're trying to wash off. And so what this does is it takes a molecule that would not otherwise dissolve in water and dissolves it in water so that we can wash it away from whatever we're trying to do, our hands or our clothes or anything else. So again, uh, by breaking up the triacylglycerol into the salts of the fatty acid, we've produced a soap molecule that has a polar end that's attracted to water molecule through the ion dipole forces. And the other end, the nonpolar end, is attracted to nonpolar molecules through dispersion forces and so that we can make a solution out of those and effectively wash our hands.